Love isn't always perfect. It isn't a fairy tale or a storybook. And it doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. Love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every hour, every minute, and every second was worth it because you did it together. Hi, Kier. Today is the day I get to marry you again. <laughs> I'm still the guy who made you run laps on field day. The same guy who called you his wife on date number four in the hot tub. <laughs> he did do that. I love you even more today than I did then. Let's go get hitched. Today the rest of our lives begin. I love you. Mike, our wedding day, finally. What a journey. Plan a wedding, they said. It'll be fun, they said, lol. <laughs> Anywho, I am glad today is finally here. Yes, because I'm ready to be done planning and want to be in Greece. And yes, because weddings are way more stressful than I thought possible, but mostly because I'm ready to start our lives together. You're my sun, my moon, and my stars. My chicken penne from Applebee's and my Oreo cheesecake. You're all I ever need. Just all of you, just as you are. I love you. Let's go get married again and eat a lot of banana cake. See you soon. Love, Kira. <laughs> So we don't want it to rain, so we created a jingle, and it goes a little something like this. Between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. on Saturday, no rain. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Hi. <laughs> Can't believe we finally made it here. Again. Again. I've been so looking forward to this day, and now that it's here, it doesn't feel real. But looking at you and into your eyes, I've never felt more than I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. There's something about Kira. The person you are, the aura that follows you, and the calm you bring to others. When anyone is with you, effortlessly and without a second thought, you're present. You get lost in the lives and feelings of those around you. And empathy and understanding and openness and love that doesn't just come easily to you, it is who you are. It's your nature and it sits deep within your bones. No matter what you've been through and wherever you are, that fire, your ability to reach out, love and to feel, never wavers. And in doing so, you give those around you permission to love and to be themselves as well. Eight-year-old Kira is very happy today. This is in fact a day of dreams coming true. Our love is life affirming. It is if God, himself picked us for one another long before we knew each other, guiding us to this moment. And while it's sometimes too cheesy to admit, I fell in love with you the moment I saw you. You changed everything. We've been waiting a long time for this day, but there hasn't been one minute since we met that I didn't know that you were it for me, that this day would come, and that it would be just as beautiful as it feels right now. The idea that I would marry you, that you'd be the person I'd spend my life with, was something I've always deeply and profoundly known. On one of our first dates, I embarrassingly and accidentally called you my wife. <laughs> we laughed. Since then, much has changed, and we've grown tremendously. But in other ways, nothing has changed at all. The belonging and yearning and joy and hope that I felt when falling in love with you for the first time is how I feel looking at you every single day. I invite you to join me in congratulating and celebrating Mr. and Mrs. Michael Ng as they celebrate together with a kiss. We did it! I'm Akira on the first day of Organic Chemistry 2 Lab. And I was sitting in class with my head down just trying to get through the nightmare that I knew this class was going to be, because if you know, you know. And in walks Kira. And the first thing I remember thinking was, dear God, please do not let this loud girl sit next to me. And then I felt like the universe was trying to mess with me because what does she do? She sits directly beside me. And then we started talking. And we soon realized that not only did we have a lot in common, like our love of true crime, 
musical theater and dessert, especially Dairy Queen. Um, but we also happen to be in the same major and taking all of the same classes. So there was that. And I learned in that moment that the universe was not in fact trying to mess with me by having that quote loud girl sit beside me that day. It was instead introducing me to my best friend, my soul sister, and someone who would always show up for me through the good, the bad, and the ugly. I could not have picked a better husband and partner for my best friend. Thank you for loving her, supporting her in every way, and of course, showing up when she needs you the most. I lived across the hall from Mike freshman year of college, and we've been friends ever since. Not only is he one of the smartest people I know, but he's dedicated, organized, loyal, and always makes sure to bring the people around him up. He legitimately makes all of us better. Here, I'm not gonna lie, our relationship did not have a good start. One of the first times I actually hung out with Kira was the summer after our sophomore year, when some friends visited Mike near Philly, and we stayed at the Inn. So, Philly and Joyce, thank you for hosting us. We did everything you're supposed to do in Philadelphia. Had cheesesteaks, went to a Phillies game, ran up the rocky steps. It was a very idyllic summer movie montage until we decided to take some photographs. And I wanted to take one without Kira, just in case. You never know how it's gonna work out, so just, you know, step to the side for a minute, we'll take a few. Kira, I would like to apologize to you here and now. And admit in front of everyone here tonight, and for those that know me know this is very difficult, I was wrong. I was, this is on video, I was wrong, and I have never been happier. Not only are you one of the kindest, most intelligent, capable people I've ever met, you share Mike's fierce loyalty for the people that matter. If I need your help, I know you'd be there, and I'm proud to call you one of my best friends. This shared loyalty is why you both are perfect for each other. You both make the people in your lives so much better and are always there for them. You deserve to have a partner that'll do the same for you. You bring out the best in each other and bring each other balance, and never forget, you're a perfect match. Now all please raise a glass to the best of us, Mike and Kira. So now I think I'm supposed to vow a few things. Here's what I can promise. I vow to grow with you every day, to be your partner in learning and doing and exploring and moving. I promise to support your dreams, but also to challenge us when our dreams make us stray from the things that matter most. I promise to always show up for you, despite my feelings, desires, or wants at the time. You are my priority. I promise to share in life's adventures with you and to push us outside of our comfort zones because it is outside of our comfort zones where we have grown the most. I promise to never stop laughing with you. When we start to take life too seriously, I promise to do a little shake <laughs> and remind you that life is just not that serious and that as long as we have each other, we will both have really good abs from the laughter that we share. I vowed to create a home for you that is safe, where you can rest, and laugh, and vent, and recharge, and feel love. I vow to continue to work on myself, to be worthy of the person you are, and the person you see in me. I promise to love every version of you to come. Loving what I know of you, and trusting what I don't yet know, I give you my hand and my whole heart. I promise to put our family above all else, and to teach our children the depth beauty and grace of a marriage founded in friendship and strengthened by faith. I vow to love you every single day, to see you each day as the world and our love begins again. Because every time that I wake up next to you and look into your eyes, I feel like the peace inside of me gets to be whole again. I vow to give that back to you and to love all the parts of you, always and forever.